Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Working Man Ron Doyle. I'm a master electrician in the state of Maryland. I am doing a trim out on a house that's in Princess Anne, Maryland. I wired this house about, about a month and a half ago. And at the time I wired this house, I had a blueprint drawing, but I did not have a kitchen counter or bathroom vanity layout. Uh, that's created uh, numerous problems for me throughout this, this project. The, uh, the prints were being held up, the lady that designed the kitchen had a death in the family and she could not um, get to it in a, in a proper amount of time. Uh, the blueprint drawings for the kitchen cabinets held me up about a week, week and a half. Um, now that the uh, house is in a finished state, uh, I uh, got everything totally trimmed out. There was one thing I was lacking and that was the, uh, the hookup for the uh, gas fireplace. Um, the gas fireplace guy has got some, uh, some problems getting here and uh, doing the finishing hookup on it. So I'll pan you around. This is the this is the present state that it is in. And I've been holding up the inspection. I've been uh, putting off calling the inspection because they shipped this with an outlet and a switch. And uh, I don't see any, any wires in the bottom of this. Uh, I've got my uh, loop coming out from the living room that supplies the power to this gas fireplace. But uh, so everything other than that was supposedly, supposedly finished. So I uh, called the inspector, uh, called him on Wednesday for a scheduled appointment for Thursday to do the uh, final inspection on this house. And uh, I did not hear any reply. Uh, First State in um, Delaware is the, is the one that did the inspection on this house. And um, I called him up and talked to the inspector and the inspector told me that the, uh, the house had actually failed inspection. And uh, he said, you need box extensions uh, for the kitchen counter uh, outlets and switches, everything that's behind the kitchen countertops. And uh, I said, did they put ceramic tile on the wall? He said, yes, they did. Well, unbeknownst to me, uh, I knew nothing about the ceramic uh, going in. Now, if I knew this was gonna be an issue, and I knew they were doing ceramic, I would have done Carlon adjustable boxes. So I did regular nail on boxes, uh, like we would normally do throughout a whole entire house, and uh, ceramics on the wall, and now we have a setback issue. You can't be any more than a quarter inch uh, setback and no more than an eighth inch gap around the perimeter of the box. So let me give you a, let me give you a little close up here. All right, what I mean is from the facing of the box to the flush surface, you're not allowed to have any more than a quarter and you're not allowed to have any more than an eighth of an inch from the edge of the box over to the finished surface. Uh, also, where the tile guy did not put spacers, uh, stabilizers behind this, uh, some people call them uh, outlet shims, this, this outlet rocks side to side and where it's tamper proof, you have to, you have to push it in fairly hard to actually get a, uh, an appliance plugged into it. Um, this, can, th this can actually cause the yoke strap to be bent in and if you have hard plates mounted on this you can actually crack the hard plate by pushing in because the outlet flexes uh, and the cover plate cracks. So these got to be fixed. I got a little jump on you. I wasn't going to do a video of this but uh, I'm having really good success in doing these. Uh, I've done a switch and two outlets over here by the, uh, by the range. And uh, I'm going to show you the product that I'm actually using. These are uh, fillers spacers. They're somewhat solid. They have good support. Uh, this is a 3-8 spacer. It's the size of a single gang box. They make these in quarter inch, quarter inch or yellow. The 3-8s are green. The half inch are blue. And the uh, three-quarter inch are gray in color. The three-quarter inch comes with the screws, supplied screws taped to the side of it. Uh, that's one particular brand. I'm going to put a photo right here in this description showing you what these actually are. Um, Carlon makes a, uh, a single and multi-gang extender. So you still have to shim the outlet with this. If not, you'll have deflection when you push the, uh, the actual appliance cord in. Uh, this is another product you can use to do a box extension. Um, Arlington sells these. These, are, these. these were bought from Home Depot. 
Uh, these were, I think, $6 for a two-pack. Now, I'll give you a little, a little closer illustration to this. This is uh, Arlington Single Gang, and this has a actual working depth of an inch and a half. You can actually extend it out um, past a combustible surface. They, Arlington makes these in single gang. They make them in double gang. Uh, it's a triple. And here's a quad. So you can get you get different products to fix this issue. Um, now what I've done was went and turned the power off uh, before working on this. The only power that we've got are the power on the light switches. Obviously, I need to see what I'm doing, and you need to see the video. Uh, or I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Uh, so the uh, tile guy actually taped up the receptacles uh, so he wouldn't arc them out as he was pulling them out of the wall and uh, doing his trial work and laying the tile. So tape is one alternative. Um, Ideal came out with a really fat silicone band. Um, these actually work really well. Uh, you can use these, you could reuse them. Um, I would anticipate whether they're silicone, they're gonna be on there for numerous years without drying out. Um, but uh, I'll go ahead and put the uh, silicone band on this uh, switch over here by the, uh, the light over the sink. Show you how that, that goes on. It's fairly straightforward, fairly simple. Um, now what I'm using to actually do the correction because you're gonna have mortar grout and you're gonna have some edges of ceramic tile that you have to clean. I'm actually using a Milwaukee M12 rotary tool. It has an eighth inch collet. And uh, what I had on the truck was actually sharpening stones for my chainsaw. There's two different sizes here with the eighth inch collet. Um, truly amazed that these, these are cutting ceramic tile like butter. Uh, no chips, um, very clean cut. It, it turns into talc powder. You grind away the imperfections so that you can get these spacer rings in place and blow the dust away, put the insert in. Let me show you how it's done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got my Fluke non-contact tester. Um, I haven't turned the power off to the lights because we need them. And obviously my tone signal on this thing has stopped working. Uh, you can see the light glow. And you can tell we got power here because the light just came off when I shut the switch down. So I know this is hot. Um, if you're doing this, you need to confirm that uh, you got the power killed. I don't want to see anybody electrocuted from watching my videos. Uh, what I'm going to do is try not to arc the sucker out. And it looks like my ground is really close. All right. So we're going to use a product. This is a silicone band. Uh, this is made by Ideal Company. Like I said, this thing is hot. All right. So we got that on there. That keeps us from arcing this out. Now, I'm going to try to dry fit these spacers to see how good it fits. Here's a, the 3 8 uh, spacer. Put it on one way or the other to get it over this, this switch. We're going to see if it fits. All right, it does not fit. We have got, we've got some Got some grout down at the got some grout down at the bottom. Got some grout around the perimeter, right there. And this corner of tile right there, this piece right here needs to be shaved off. So let me get this uh, let me get this rotary tool on here. See how good this works. Be very careful not to hit your wire with this rotary tool. I didn't mean to get you dusty, I'm sorry. Let's try and see how this thing fits. Yeah, we got a little bit more setback on that one. That's a little further back in the wall. Let's try a half inch spacer on this. All right. 
the blue is the half inch. Put this on there. All right. Looks like the blue is a winner. Now we're going to push this back in the wall. Make sure you don't get your uh, your ground caught up beside your screws on your switch. All right, and then we're going to use uh, we're going to increase to an inch and five eight screw because now we're going through a box extender, and you want to make sure you don't get any of your wires pinched. And if you all are trying to do this yourself, turn the power off. I want to use the, uh, the light to do this video so you all can see it with a little bit more clarity. Wow. Tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, that, that is very, that's a very appealing option to, uh, very appealing option to doing a correction from the tile guy's mess up, which uh, actually uh, makes this look pretty good. I like those spacers. A little bit of work getting them in, but uh, they're they're a solid connection. You won't have to worry after you tighten them up. You won't have to worry about uh, the switch shimmy shaking on you with uh, people people hitting it and moving the plate. She's rock, she's rock solid. Let me, uh, let me get you on this, this outlet right here. Let's see how this one goes. Now, you can see she's loose. Because there's no solid spacers behind it. Now the uh, tile guy has already put in the uh, tape for me. And like I said, usually tile guys will do that because they're uh, running a trowel around here for their uh, thin set. And... Um, for their grouting and they don't want to they don't want to arc this out now uh, this one right here is going to require a little bit more a little bit more grinding you can see you got grout right here uh, the the tile passes the edge of the box I'll have to grind off the edge of this so uh, let me get you set up and let's see how she does That's probably a half inch spacer. Let's see what a half inch spacer looks like. You know, get a little bit more right in the corner. good and put our longer screws in it
ladies and gentlemen. I've got uh, two more outlets to, to actually do with uh, installing these spacers. I don't want this video to get too long. Um, I uh, greatly appreciate you all coming back to the channel. Hopefully this video was of some help to you in uh, correcting a small issue that the tile guy has created for you. Hopefully uh, it was helpful and informative. If you all like the video, please crush that like button. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, I wish you that, you know, that uh, this will help you in your uh, correction process. And uh, if you like it, consider subscribing to my channel for future videos on things electricians do. I uh, wish you all a wonderful and blessed day. Until the next time, stay safe.